Well, we had a nice, interesting conversation about communication. Communication in 2023 and going forward, you know, this is this is a very important communication has always been important, but I personally feel that it's never been more important than it is today. So, you know, buckle up your seats and we're going to take a little journey and talk a little bit about communication and the importance of it um, in our relationships and, you know, and really, in, you know, communicating our brand to the world and really what it is that we think about communication and the importance of it. All right. So, like I say, welcome to Well. You know, this is on 2023. This is James Montgomery. Um, presented by Food by the Word Media. God bless you, and let's get to it. One thing about communication that we need to kind of think about, you know, some of the, you know, some of the the stats show that in our lifetime, in the average lifetime, you'll know ten thousand people. You'll meet ten thousand people. Each person will meet ten thousand people. So put that in the context of, on average, an average person is going to meet ten thousand people in their life. Okay. Now another another stat says that. On average, the average person knows up to 600 people at a time. Okay, so let's put that into context and then look at your, you know, your day-to-day -day interactions and so forth. Communication is the biggest and most important part of our everyday, period. And also, in this time that we're in now, <clears throat> communication is the most compromised thing. People are struggling every single day to be able to communicate with even those closest to them. You know, people that they've spent, you know, their whole life with, you know, people that have been the closest to them, people that they live with, people that they work with on a day to day basis, people that they've known for a long time and felt that they knew completely are having the hardest times communicating. Because what it is, is we go a long time and this is what's really been bad for us, you know, across the board, but unsaid things, you know. There's been a lot of times we're having conversations with people. We'll spend 75 percent of the conversation building up to whatever the point is, you know, the crescendo, because we're just trying to, you know, lighten up, size up the other person and trying to, you know, lighten the mood so we can land our punch. Well, here's the issue. Here's the issue. You know, we have to take a step back and we have to start, you know, like like I, like the video I made a couple of weeks ago about seeking first to understand and to be understood. This is not just an option anymore, you know. It is imperative that we start to understand that we have not only, you know, our point of view that's in this in this dynamic, it's their point of view as well. If we want to work together in community, this is absolutely required. Case in point, case in point, you know, everybody wants to be heard. That's been the theme of the past few years. Everybody wants to be heard. We just want to be heard. We want to be heard. Here's the other part, though, that's even more important, if not more important. Everybody needs to learn how to listen. Yes, everybody needs to learn how to hear. Do you know how to hear? Well, ask yourself the question. Do you know how to hear? Are you able to hear what someone else is saying? Are you? You got to ask yourself the question. You know, you have to be aware of, are you able to hear? Okay, not just judge, not I don't like to hear this. I don't like to hear that. Here's the issue. If we're going to know 10,000 people in our lives, I guarantee you, I guarantee you the majority of those 10,000 people are not going to be people that you identify with. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Everybody wants to only be around the best fit or the people that they identify with, people in their tribe. Oh, that's cute and all that, but that's not community. That's not a culture. That's not, you know, civilization. You know, the reality of it is, is you're going to deal with people with varied opinions and views. You're going to deal with people that have different perspectives. I made several videos of, of this um, a few years ago about perspectives. You know, here's the reality. You know, you may know somebody for 20 years. You might be both might both be 40. You might know them for 20 years. But guess what? There was 20 years that you didn't know them, that they had a whole nother life. You had a whole nother life. They had a whole nother perspective of being raised in an environment. You had a whole nother perspective of being raised in an environment. Then you met, and so you've known each other for 20 years now. Here's the thing. You may agree upon a lot of things, but you're not going to agree on everything. You have varied perspectives. You have different opinions that come from different experiences. OK, if you're not able to hear that other person's experience, you can't hear that other person, you know, but yet you want to be heard. Here's the thing. In these dynamics, it's not just about if you commit to having a conversation, a talk, meeting with somebody, saying hi or whatever, that's a level of commitment. I'm just going to let you know. That's a level of commitment. 
if you commit to saying hi to somebody, you have to also commit to understanding, you know, okay, they got a voice as well. You know, that's more than just a, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Because here's the reality. As human beings, it is required for us to communicate, to grow together in community. We can't do this thing called life by ourselves. Now, for most of us, most of us, you know, there are, you know, a few people that can, that can, you know, operate, you know, on, you know, pretty well by themselves. Not many people can do that. That's not the natural course of things. So to understand the natural course of things, you know, is to understand that it's not only that you need to be heard, which is very important, but you need to hear, which is even as important, if not more important. If you can't hear, I guarantee you, whatever it is you're talking to somebody about is not going to be effective. If you can't hear, if you can't hear, you can't understand the pain that they might be talking from today. Here's the thing. Yesterday, they didn't have pain. Today, they have pain. Now, so whatever you were talking about yesterday is going to be different than it is, you know, today. You know, OK, something might have happened. They might have seen a, a tragic accident on the highway or something. And that might, you know, affect them. And so today they might be, you know, mentally not be able to communicate like they did yesterday. Like yesterday we had a great conversation. We had so much fun. It was awesome. Well, today they're under duress because they just seen something horrific and they might not be able to communicate that to you at all. Like they might not be able to tell you at all. I just saw a horrific accident, you know, where, you know, somebody probably lost their life, you know, and they might not be able to communicate that at all, but it's affecting them. If you're unable to hear them and able to, you know, you know, give them, you know, the, 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 the ground to be able to say, you know, okay, something's different today. You can't expect the same juvial person that was yesterday simply because yesterday was a great day for you guys. You know, life happens, you know, that's, a, that's, a, and that's a, one of the best phrases I've ever heard, but life happens and life happens to all of us. When life happens, are you able to hear? Well, ask yourself the question, are you able to hear? Are you a hearer? Are you able to hear? You know, you want to be heard. That's a fact. Everybody wants to be heard. Everybody needs to be heard. This is true. But can you hear? Let's talk, you know, and when it comes to communication, whether it's in, you know, personal life, whether it's in business, whether it's, you know, an exchange, you know, go to the store. Let's talk about like customer service. You know, when you go to a restaurant, you know, everybody complains about, you know, well, the service is bad. The service is bad. The service is bad. Here's the thing. Service you know, probably is bad. <laughs> and I mean, you know, you know, service is very is a very big issue right now. But service probably is bad. But here's the thing. Look at yourself. How's your communication? You know, when you go into the restaurant, and you see there's short staff, you know, places a little bit of a mess. You know, you know, there's usually five people behind the line, but you only see two people today. And you go in, you, you know, you but you still want your Whopper. You know, you want your Whopper with cheese, you know. You know, with no pickles, hold the mustard, you know what I'm saying? Put extra onions on there. That's how you usually get it. Sometimes it's okay. You know, sometimes it's okay. Whatever. Today you go in there, you know, you communicate, you know, your point because you're going into the, you know, going into the establishment. I want it like this. Have you observed that the conditions today aren't like they are usually? You know, when you when you communicate with the person that's at the front there. Okay, so so now the burden is on you to communicate properly. OK, I see the situation for them is not like it normally is or it's not like it should be for them to give the best level of service. OK, so my level of communication at this point has to be a little bit different. I have to be aware. I have to be present and present of mind and say, OK, you know, how you doing today? Let me get a Whopper with cheese. Now, is it possible for, you know, you have to slow down your conversation a little bit. Take your time. Get it at their pace. You know, where's their where's their understanding? Where's their comprehension at? Where they're where they're, you know, I see that you're really busy. You know, I see that you guys are under understaffed today. You know, let me take into account you guys are understaffed today. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just you know, I'm gonna bear with you. You know, I'm about to give you my order. You know, let me know when you're ready. You know, I mean, this is you as the customer. Let me know when you're ready. And that, that gives them a so they can take a breath. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate, yeah, it's been crazy today. You know, um, I, I appreciate you understanding that. Yeah, let me. Yeah. So, you know, go ahead with your order whenever you're ready. They're, now they're in the game with you. I'm try, I, 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 I 
I've done this and I do this. You know, so this is, this is now they're in the game with you. They take your order, no matter how crazy and bonkers it is back there. Now you've got a partner in the game. They're going to go back there. They're going to make sure your sandwich comes out. It's going to come out better than you've ever had a sandwich before. No, you know, no pickles, extra, you know, onions, you know what I'm saying? No mustard, just like you wanted it. Boom, bang, boom. And they're going to come out with a smile, even though they've been under pressure all day, you know, because you took, you took a moment to understand their situation and you communicated and you gave them an opportunity to not only, you know, take your order, but, you know, you got to, you gave them opportunity for you to be a hearer, for you to hear, you know, them, you know, for you to hear their voice, for not only for them to hear you, but for you to hear them. And so now your customer service experience in a situation that typically would just be horrible, you know, but now you've given them a chance to partner with you on your, on your order. And so now your customer service experience is awesome. So next time you come back, you're looking for that guy, or you're looking for that lady that you saw last time. No matter, you know, you come back the next time and there's five people in the kitchen, but they're not there and you, and you get crappy service. Be like, oh my, when it was just them, I got great service because, you know, your perception of the communication has shifted based upon the environment. Well, you got to ask yourself, you know, these are questions you got to ask yourself on a day to day basis. When it comes to communication, it is imperative. It is imperative. And let me slow down a little bit here. It is imperative that you take the time to understand the other person and you take the time to understand the conditions you take the time to understand the situation and you take the time to say okay i'm gonna put my 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 opinion my ideals over here can i hear what they're saying if you can't even hear what they're saying you've not removed yourself from the picture if you cannot hear what someone else is saying, the issue is not them. If their mouth is moving and words are coming out their mouth, but you can't hear them, nine times out of 10, the issue is with you. And your mind is so bogged down that you are unable to hear them. You may need to be able to step, you may have to step back and say, no, could you pause for a moment for me, sis? Could you pause for a moment for me, bro? You know, I got so much going on in my head right now. I can't even hear you. I can't even hear you. And you might need to step away or you might just, you know, can, give me give me a minute. Let me, you know, and they might be able to say, they might, they might have, you know, okay, you know. Communication is so important. Communication is too important for us to continue to do what we're doing right now, folks. You know, this is, this is, this is the point of, 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 of this episode is to communicate <laughs> with you the importance of communication and how it is not an option. This is a requirement. We have to improve how we're communicating, whether it's in written words, spoken word, music, you know, you know, text messages. Yes, text messages. You know, whether it's in, you know, you know, whatever, advertising and marketing, we have to learn to communicate better. And I don't mean just look for shortcuts and techniques and tricks and everything. We're in a whole new world. We're in a whole new world. It's 2023. Never in the history of human beings has it ever been 2023 20, before. You know, <laughs> this, is, this is all brand new. And we've come to a point in time where, you know, communication, even though we have more points of being able and more ways of being able to communicate, communication has never been so horrible as it is now. You know, and it's very important. I talk, like I said, I, talk, I, I talk to a lot of different people, myself personally, I, on purpose. I mean, I got to go, I go out of my way to talk to different people in different places. I go to I go to them, you know, and talk. To, I meet them where they're at, literally. I don't expect nobody to do what I do. Nobody. I really don't. Because I understand, you know, God has created me to be the me that I am and, you know, and move and go and act like I do. Great, great, great. But it is important for everybody to understand. I'm telling you, you know, I'm in, you know, you know, I'm in the rural community. I live in the rural community. You know, I'm in the urban community. You know, I'm from the urban community. I mean, I'm, you know, cross cultures, you know, you know, cross race. I mean, every day, every day for me is <laughs> is a is a mixed bag. One day I'm going to have to um, actually show you my my Google Maps tracking map every month. You know, you know, my my, my Google Maps um, shows me where I've traveled and how I traveled and everything. It looks like <laughs> it looks like a cartoon map or something like that. It looks like crazy. Like, you know, get somewhere and sit down, you know. But here's the thing. The reality of it is, is 
you know, communication has never been more important than it is today. You know, not only important enough just to talk clearly, it's, an, it's, it's even more important to hear clearly. So are you hearing? Are you able to hear? If you're not able to hear, say, well, you know, I'm not even able to hear right now what's going on with me, you know, and have that conversation with those closest to you. You know, I'm not able to hear right now. I don't know why I can't hear. You know, I can hear the words, but I can't mentally, I can't process what you're saying. I've got so much on my mind. Well, you know, that's the reality. You know, that's the reality. That's the world that we're in right now. And some people process information at a different level. Some process it at a lower level. Some process it at a higher level. It's time for us to have those conversations and to be honest with ourselves and say, well, you know, you know, I process information at a low level. Please, when you give me information, please give it to me. You know, I process things at a lower level. Okay, I process things at a higher level. Okay, when you give me information, please give it to me at a higher level, you know, and I, and I can digest it like this. But let's have these conversations and say, well, you know, communication is far too important for us not to take it serious and for us not to start doing some work on it today. So God bless you. Welcome to well and um, you know, have a great day. Talk to you later.